To start this video off, we have to talk about Halo 3. Yes! Halo 3, the Halo that many believe was the greatest of all time. In Halo 3, during the entirety of the campaign, there are no sections at any point where you fight an elite. This is because at the end of Halo 2, the rivalry between the elites and the brutes finally reached its boiling point and the Covenant was essentially disbanded. In Halo 3 and Halo 3 ODST, the brutes sort of take over the role that the elites played in the previous Halo games. I'd love to go more into it, but if we end up making this a full series, if you guys like this video, then I'll just go into it when I talk about Brutes. I have a lot of interesting things to say about Brutes. They're an interesting species. Comment down below if you want me to do maybe a video on them. But the elites in Halo 3 and Halo 3 ODST do not make the list and fall at the bottom because, well, they just don't really exist. There's elites in the game, you just don't fight any. Even these beasts recognize what you were oblivious to, human. The next elites on our list are the elites from Halo 4. Yes, the bottom of the list are the Halo 4 elites. Okay, not the true bottom, but if you consider the fact that Halo 3 didn't even have any elites that you could fight against, it's the bottom. I do have to give the Halo 4 legendary elite AI some credit. The elites in Halo 4 are very accurate on legendary. If they have a weapon that can reach you, they're going to reach you with that weapon. But that's only if you're standing in the open. The AI in Halo 4 is very bad at tracking your position when you move to a place where the AI can't see you anymore. For example, here I'm able to reset these jackals and grunts by just popping behind cover for a short period of time. Essentially, all you have to do on Halo 4 if you get in a bad spot is hide for a little bit and come back. No matter how many times you poke out, the elites in Halo 4 aren't going to rush your position. They're going to stay where they're at. They're able to bob and weave out of cover, but they're not going to rush your position if you get low on shields or they throw a nice grenade. Also, the noob combo, which is the best strategy for taking out elites, works exceptionally well on Halo 4 Legendary. Sometimes you can hit a perfect plasma pistol shot with without even having a red reticle. Sometimes the elite AI, even the higher ranking elites, which should be a little bit smarter, just take plasma pistols to the face. And even if you don't have access to noob combos, the Halo 4 sandbox is exceptionally good at taking out elites. You can use pretty much anything in the sandbox of Halo 4 to kill elites pretty easily. Needlers are exceptionally good. So even though the plasma pistol, which should be the prime way to take out an elite in Halo 4, drains very quickly when you hold it up, which means that you don't really get much mileage out of it, even if you run out of plasma pistol ammo, there's still going to be plenty of weapons around the map that you're going to be able to pick up and kill elites pretty effectively. This is probably due to the fact that the Prometheans were more of a focus in Halo 4. Near the end of the game, you don't really fight any Covenant anymore. Sort of unfortunate that the elites got the short end of the stick in Halo 4. The Ungoy are resisting. <sighs> Throw the Ungoy out the airlock. Halo 5 elites seem a little bit more evolved than their Halo 4 counterparts. While the elite AI in Halo 5 seems to be a little bit smarter, they're going to at least rush you if you run behind cover, there are a couple things that put the Halo 5 elites pretty low on our list. First off, like the Halo 4 elites, pretty much every weapon in your arsenal when you're playing Halo 5 can effectively take down an elite. You don't really have to rely on the plasma pistol noob combo. While that is a fast way of taking down an elite, most weapons in the game can kill them pretty effectively. Even using something as simple as a magnum or an assault rifle can prove to be very effective against an elite in Halo 5. And that's something that you'll see later on in this list that just isn't going to work with other forms of elites. And even on legendary difficulty, the elites don't do that much damage. They aren't that accurate. It's pretty easy to dodge their shots, especially from far away. And one of the biggest reasons that the Halo 5 elites are so low on this list is the fact that you get four other teammates in Halo 5's campaign. Which means for most situations, even if an elite kills you, he only downs you, and you still have the chance for your teammates to revive you. But thanks to the Elite's upgraded AI in Halo 5, they are a little bit better than the Halo 4 Elites, which didn't put them all the way down at the bottom, even though in the campaign mode you have three other teammates that can help you fight the Elites. Quite a crowd. If they came to hear me beg, they will be disappointed. Are you sure? I think a lot of you are going to be a little bit surprised that I put Halo 2 Elites this far down on the list, considering the fact that Halo 2 Legendary is by far one of the hardest campaigns in all of Halo. They can kill you insanely quickly, they have very smart AI, they have a lot of health, and they are also very accurate. Plasma pistol shots curve like some divine intervention, and you can use your battle rifle at almost any range to kill Elites. You don't even have to be in red reticle range with your plasma pistol, and most of the time, because Elites are taller 
than all of the other enemies in the game, the plasma pistol will almost always target that elite. By no means am I saying that the Halo 2 elites are easy to kill, but if you have a plasma pistol and you have a battle rifle, they're really not that tough. The difficulty in fighting Halo 2 elites arises when you don't have a green gun, when you don't have your plasma pistol. If you have to fight an elite and all you have is a basic SMG, even one-on-one, -on -one, that elite is probably going to kill you. If you're not using the battle rifle, the Halo 2 sandbox is pretty underpowered. And this causes a lot of problems for the player if they're trying to kill elites in Halo 2 campaign. So if the plasma pistol and battle rifle combo did not exist, I think Halo 2 elites would be way higher on this list. But because the noob combo is so powerful in Halo 2, I have to put them where they are now. Come here, you mother -bombers. Oh, this is it, baby. Hold me. I think at a glance, the elites of Halo Combat Evolved and the elites of Halo 2 are fairly similar in difficulty. Both have fairly decent AI, both are fairly accurate, both have fairly decent health. And in Halo Combat Evolved, we also have a decent green gun. Now, the plasma pistol in Halo Combat Evolved isn't as powerful as the plasma pistol in Halo 2, but that's not why Halo Combat Evolved's elites are a little bit higher. The reason is that in Halo Combat Evolved, the elite time to kill can actually be much faster than Halo 2. At a glance, it may seem like the elites of Halo 1 and the elites of Halo 2 can kill you in about the same time. But you're forgetting that Halo Combat Evolved uses a health system where Halo 2 uses just shields. And in a mission in Halo 1 on Legendary, especially one where there are sparse health packs, a lot of times you're fighting with just a sliver of health. And if you're playing Halo 1 on Legendary and you're fighting an elite and you only have one little sliver of health, even with full shields, that elite can down you very quickly. So while at the start of a level in Halo 1, you may feel like a complete tank, killing elites with no problem at all. By the end of the level, when you're health is diminished and you're really looking for that health pack, killing an elite, especially with one sliver of health, can be a very daunting task. Eat Vanak. What you saying? It's over! We've been engaged! Bad guy coming out! Negative four, stay on the entrance. Two, handle her. Five and six, clear the hole. The strongest elites in all of Halo belong to Halo Reach. Yes, Halo Reach. And these elites don't mess around. All of the other elites that I've mentioned in this video have had fairly decent AI, except for Halo 4. That AI is terrible. But the Halo Reach elites are really the only elites in this list that I can say have AI that is exceptional. The elite AI in Halo Reach is above all of the rest. They are smart. They are worthy adversaries of you. They will dodge every grenade. They will go behind cover when their shields are down, and they will run rush you when your shields are down. The elites will sometimes even dodge your plasma pistol shots when it's incoming, sometimes even when they're not looking at you. I said earlier that the elites were multicolored, and they definitely are in Halo Reach. Low level elites in Halo Reach have exceptional AI to begin with, but the high level elites seem to know your every move before you even do it. They're also incredibly accurate, even with guns that require insane amount of accuracy. A white elite ultra with a concussion rifle is probably the most infuriating thing to take on, especially if you don't have a plasma pistol and a precision weapon. I ran into this issue on the last mission in Halo Reach when I was streaming Halo Reach on Legendary all the way through. There's a section on the last mission where you have to kill three white elites. Those are three elite ultras and they're all armed to the teeth. And I, like an idiot, forgot about this section, so I didn't have a green gun noob combo. This section took me so long and I was very frustrated by the end of it. Halo Reach elites are hard enough to kill with a noob combo, but without it, it's seems almost impossible. And all of this elite strength is compounded by the fact that in Halo Reach you also use a health-based system like Halo Combat Evolved. Now to be fair, in Halo Reach there are a lot more health packs scattered around levels. A lot of times you're going to find health packs pretty regularly. On most missions it's very rare that you'll be walking around with low health, but if you do end up fighting an elite, especially a high-tiered elite, with low health, you're definitely screwed. 
Elites also have access to armor abilities that the player has access to, so if you stick an elite, it can just armor lock and avoid the death. Not to mention in Halo Reach, we're a lowly Spartan 3, and while we have access to things like sprint and other armor abilities like armor lock, you're very underpowered as a Spartan 3. Your guns have recoil, you take fall damage, and all of this equals a much harder elite fight, especially against the hardest elites in any Halo game. Let me know what you guys think about my list and ratings down in the comments section below, and if you ranked the elites before the video started, how well did your list stack up against mine? I'm planning on making this a regular series, so please subscribe if you would like to see more. But I also make tons of awesome other Halo content that I think you definitely will enjoy, so hit that subscribe button regardless. You can actually click that logo in the left to subscribe. And on the right, I plan on posting links to the future episodes in this series. If you liked this video and wanted some more, click those links now. But obviously, if you're watching this video shortly after it came out, there will just be other videos that you can enjoy. Thank you all for watching, please stay notable, and I will see you in the next video.